Last time on Sailing Bellachandra, we gave you an overview of all of the offshore safety gear we carry on Bellachandra. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Noelle. And I'm Dan. And we're Sailing Bella Chandra. We're just a couple Canadians sailing around the Caribbean making YouTube videos. And if you like our channel and you want to subscribe, just go below this channel, look for the big red subscribe button, press that button. We decided to sail north to Anse La Roche on the island of Caracou. This is a beautiful anchorage, but has very little protection from the Caribbean swell. Going ashore, we went for a day hike with friends from sailing vessel Starlight. Oh, you're going on YouTube like that. <laughs> it's not. Oh, no, no alcohol in the video. Is it video? Oh. <laughs> Petite Martinique is a short sail to the northeast of Caracou. We did a little snorkeling and discovered this incredible spit of sandy beach in the middle of nowhere. It's a deserted island. So after a few days here in Petite Martinique, we're ready to leave. We're going to be sailing down to Tyrol Bay, Caracou again, just to ride out some bad weather we've got tonight. And then we'll head on back down to Grenada, where we're hopefully going to be able to get our new shroud installed. We got an email from our rigger letting us know that our shroud is in. But we're all ready to go, and it's back to Tyrol Bay. back to Grenada to repair our shroud and we're going to end up down in the southern anchorages of Grenada where it's really calm and hopefully we can loosen the shrouds and do the work there in a calm anchorage and get it done. And yeah, it's been a pretty good sail so far, downwind all day, which is awesome. We chose the right day to go. We celebrated my birthday yesterday at Caracou, so we woke up a little hungover this morning, but we were able to get out. We had one of our lower shrouds break, but we were under heavy roll when we first arrived in Grenada. Our rig is still within its serviceable lifespan. We discovered this shroud had been cracked for a very long time before it broke completely. We don't know what caused the crack to begin with, but we're grateful that it happened at anchor and not at sea. We've since been able to inspect the entire rig and have found no other cracks or issues. The new rod took an entire month to be delivered to Grenada. To continue sailing, we rigged a piece of Dyneema in place of the missing rod. Okay, so I'm finally ready to replace the broken lower shroud on our mast. There's a company here that can replace rod rigging and we had them do one for us. And we had to wait about a month for it to arrive from the United States. And I picked it up yesterday 
and we're ready to go. Here's what we had here as a temporary fix. Here's the turnbuckle that I bought at the used boat store in the States. That's been holding up really well for us. And this piece of Dyneema line, which we tied and had doubled. And then if you look up here, you can see how I had it wrapped around the mast. So we're gonna be removing that Dyneema today and putting the new shroud back on, and hopefully everything will be good to go. This is the end that was done with a cold press machine when you have rod rigging. This is how they cap it. They have a machine that makes this end, and it's a very specialized thing. Uh, they just happen to have one here in Grenada. It's the only one I think in the Caribbean, as far as I know, maybe in this part of the Caribbean. So we were lucky to get this done. First, we had to loosen all of the shrouds on both sides of the boat. This had to be done in order to slide off the spreader by a few inches so the attachment point can be accessed. I was sure to support the mast with two spare halyards on each side before loosening off the shrouds. Once the spreader attachment point is exposed, I can then remove a small plug where the new shroud can pass through before being seated into position. Tighten We connected the shroud to the chain plate and had a perfect fit. Before tightening up the shrouds, we used a halyard to raise a tape measure and measured both sides of the mast for straightness. Okay, I got exactly 57 feet. 57 feet? Wow, you're within a half an inch. Ah. Oh my god! So you're not, you're not 75 or 72 feet, you're like 65. Confident that the mast is straight, we then began to tighten all of the shrouds. Final tightening and tuning of these rod shrouds is done gradually. We will need to go sailing and adjust and repeat. I will probably not pin and tape the turnbuckles for at least a month. Tension measuring tools do not work with rod rigging. I typically go by feel. It's very important that the rods are not too loose or too tight. I'll get you dancing. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this week's video, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give us a like or a comment below. And if you haven't checked out our Patreon page, it's always a good time to do so. Patreon's a place where you can give back if you like what we do and you want to support us. Thanks. See you later. Bye. <laughs>